<laughs> Could you move over, please? Hold oh, on. Ow! Go, go that oh. way. Why are you sitting so close to me? Hold on. We uh, 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 It's um. good to eat something as you're starting. <laughs> the, uh... Look at good afternoon, good morning, good evening, everybody. This is Jeremiah Jay Mamadar with Jay Man Speaks coming to you live and direct. Live. <laughs> um, let me tell you. Let me tell you a little story, folks, because <laughs> in days where we are overscheduled, as many of you are, I'm like, oh shoot, I didn't eat, and I'm like, oh, I got five whole minutes. Our five minute countdown. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to get something to drink. So I have this little breakfast burrito. And I'm like, oh, okay, I got 30 <coughs> seconds. And then 30 seconds becomes 10 and becomes five. And then it's like, I got, I got a little cheese. Still chewing on it. <laughs> I got a little cheese coming out. You got to get a bean stuck to your lip or something. All right. <laughs> no, don't oh. do that. Yeah. Good afternoon. So, good, good afternoon. Morning. Good morning. Good evening. Good day. Good night. Welcome to Much to Say About Nothing. Double J's in the building. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Let's go. Why did you do that? If that bothers you, you should tell me because I will continue to do that throughout the broadcast. No, I love, I love when you <laughs> do that, Jay. Man, I, why would you do that? I know you. I know you. Uh, so today we're talking about winning the wake up must do or. Um, and, you know, if you could be forget about you, it could be. It doesn't have to be a bad word just because you I might thought it was forget about place. you. Huh? I thought it was forget about you. Yeah, that's what it is. Uh, it all depends, you know. That's if how you're, I'm saying it. You're Brooklynites. You're like, forget about you. If you're from your neighborhood, then you just there's there's a four letter word, and it rhymes with ducks. Trucks. Let's Good move luck. on from this point. Good luck to you. All right, Britt Jasper from Henning, Tennessee, tuning in. Shout out to Britt. Shout out to Tiffany. Shout out to Billy. Give you guys all Shout right out to everybody here. else who's watching. Yeah, and if you're watching, because I see a whole bunch of people watching, right where you're from in there, because that always like, cool. Where is this actually going to? Like, where who's watching in this? the Why world they... is much to say about nothing? And we always like to say, "Hey, from the, the sip. sip, tip of the sip, Dana Young. See you on the fifteenth. She's at the the top of Mississippi, uh, right right near oh. Memphis, Tennessee, aka tip the tip of the, of the sip." <clears throat> okay. uh, so let's talk about winning the wake up. Uh, it's something, it's a hashtag that I started using as a young lad well before hashtags even existed. But uh, so why is hashtag. it so important? I, 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 so and I know a like, hashtag. what? It was a, it was a pound. It, you were using it before hashtags were around. Oh yeah, it, it was, was just a hashtag. pound. I was just putting it. Just it. A... I say to my buddies like this, win the wake up. <laughs> we pound <laughs> each other. <laughs> That was good. That was All good. right. So let's go back to winning the wake up. First thing is, I think you should have, I think just waking up is, is winning in the first place. Well, that's, well, that goes back to gratitude, right? You're like, oh my gosh, I woke up. And, and you know what? And, and I think, you know, we're joking around about it, but like, listen, if you have nothing else to be grateful for, I think that's the one thing you should start in the morning being grateful for. Because, you know, feel bad saying, there's a lot of people that don't wake up, you know? So to me, that's, that's the plus right there. But I guess you told me it says pre-show. Oh, now we're on the air. It was saying pre-show. So we're back. I don't know what happened. J-Man's pressing buttons and stuff like that. So I, Unbelievable. I it's, it's for re some reason, the stream isn't, isn't great today, but hopefully it all, all records. But so well, now it says we're on, it says we're on the air now. So that's, that's a good thing. So okay, we you were saying we weren't on the air. Yeah. So I, what I was saying was the night before. Yeah, before I go to bed, you know, like if I if I plan to run, if I plan to do something, of some kind of activity in the morning early, I have accountability people that that also do it with me, and we'll be like running tomorrow. Yes, yes, yes. So at least I know that there's other people that are going to get up with me, and, and even if they don't, I'm holding myself accountable because it's like, right? The, the the measure of somebody's character is how they act when nobody else is watching. Absolutely. Right. And I'm like, say that I, again, say that again, just so everybody hears you. The measure of somebody's character is how they act when, when nobody else is watching. Like I could very well sleep in and go, I won the wake up. I swear I did. But the, that's the, part of the reason why I post, I'll do a, a, a selfie in the dark at four 30 with a timestamp from Instagram that you can't, 
you can't fake to, sh to, to demonstrate to everybody like, yo, I'm not going to tell you to win the wake up and I'm not winning it myself. And, and you know, it's so important. Just, <clears throat> just with those accountability, do you know those 5 a.m. wake up calls? There's a 5 a.m. wake up call that's based out in California. There's a 5 a.m. wake up call that's based upon the East Coast. Do you know those actually started because <clears throat> I'm friends with the person who started the California one. Um, they actually started just as a group of people for accountability. It was like, hey, I'm going to wake up at five o'clock every single morning. I'm going to jump on. This is the phone number to call. I'm going to talk about something. Right. Like, I don't know what it could be. It could be 30 seconds, could be two minutes, but I just want accountability. And if what they did is, is, is I'll always say, you, they made it public, then made it perfect. So they made it public that that's what they're going to do to a small group of people. <clears throat> now, if you look at the, you know, the 5 a.m. California call or the 5 a.m. Uh, East Coast call, there's thousands upon thousands of people on those. Because, and it all started with accountability of getting up in the morning. Because <clears throat> how many real estate agents do you know that actually start their day at 11 or 12 o'clock in the afternoon? Like to me, I just, I don't get that. Yeah, they're like, oh, I'm an entrepreneur. I can make my own schedule. I'm sleeping in. Like, are you kidding me? Listen, and this, and this is what it comes back to always is running your business like a business. If you had a store, if you had a, 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 a quickie mart or whatever, and I went there at 10 o'clock in the morning thinking you were going to be open at 10 o'clock in the morning and you weren't there, well, maybe something happened. The next time I do that, I'll never come back to the never. store again. Never, ever. So I think part, never, ever. part of the start of the morning is when am I going to start the morning for myself and then when am I going to start my business morning? Yeah. I think those are two parts of it. Well, here here's a challenge for you. If you guys are watching or listening to this, whatever time you wake up currently, just make it an hour earlier because we're about to fall back soon, right? Is it fall back? Where if you're waking up at 6, wake up at 5. If you have kids especially, like that extra hour makes all the difference of solitude <laughs> and quietness. Like your productivity will go through the roof. But it, but it all starts with, with the first step. You make the decision before you go to bed. You set your alarm. Stop hitting the freaking snooze button, okay? Like, as soon as it goes off, get up. Get your ass out of bed. Five, four, three, two, one. If, if you don't know who Mel Robbins is, five-second rule, follow that. Look her up. Change your life. And, the, <clears throat> and what you can also do is go to bed an hour earlier. You know, no matter what happens, if you go to bed an hour earlier and then – Eventually, your body gets used to, I'm in bed at this time, therefore, I'm going to wake up earlier. Uh, <clears throat> there was, there was, I'm not even going to start, it was a long story, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> what the, okay. Um, well, it's, I was going to tell you, there was, a, there was a story, Milton Erickson, Milton Erickson was a, a hypnotist that's hypnotherapist, and he was dealing with a guy who couldn't go to sleep. And the guy came to him and said, what's the one thing that you hate doing in your house? It was the guy and his son. He goes, well, I hate you know, waxing the wood floors because we have wood floors. He goes, this is what you do. You go into bed every single night at 7 p.m. If you can't fall asleep within the first 45 minutes, you get up and you wax the floors the entire night. And in the process of doing this, he actually wound up getting so exhausted. He could do this thing. Once you're out of bed, you can't go back to sleep. So in the process of conditioning himself, to actually, now I'm going to go to bed at 7 o'clock. I hate doing the floor, so guess what? I'm going to go to sleep. And the premise was he wanted to get up earlier. I um, gave a short version of that. <laughs> yeah, and if you guys want to come wax my hardwood floors, just let me know. <laughs> I'd be happy to invite you over because I don't enjoy that either. Um, Tiffany says, if you can't get up in the morning, get a small barky dog. That little effer will never let you sleep in. <laughs> Uh, I, I can tell you growing up, we used to visit my, my grandfather lived in Puerto Rico. Those damn Puerto roosters, Rico. those roosters won't let you sleep. And I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, they won't let you sleep. But here's, here's what I really want to say. You all bitch about waking up early, but <laughs> it's really what I want to say. You bitch about waking up early, but you'll snooze for 30 minutes. Or 40, like you, you, that's part of your plan. I'm going to wake up at okay. 630, but I'll snooze 610, 620, 630. I don't snooze at all because that's all time I could be sleeping. Like why would you have so 10 or 15 or 20 or 30 minutes of half sleep? I want full or I want nothing. That's it. So, okay. So this is perfect. So I'm actually going to give something that everybody can help out for those people who have a difficult time getting out of, getting out of bed in the morning. Call when me. You finally get out of, when you finally get out of bed. 
there's something you say to yourself right before you finally get out of bed, meaning I got to get now. I'm going to be late to many. There's a certain thing you say like, Jay, man, what do you say to yourself or what do you think that second before you actually jump out of the bed? Let's go. So that's the thing. So J man's trigger or it could be, Oh crap, I'm late. And that's what jumps up. It could be like me. And <clears throat> this is what I say to myself, time to get up. And then boom, that's when I get up. The next time you're about to get out of bed, think to yourself or, or take a conscious awareness of, and this, this has to do with psychology is NLP is hypnosis. Take a, a, take a thought of what did I just say to myself? What actually caused me to get out of bed? Because then, Instead of hitting the snooze button for 30 minutes, say that to yourself because that's your trigger to actually get out and that will cause you to get out of bed. Oh, my turn. Um, this is what this is what <laughs> Jeff says when he gets up. You won! <laughs> I had a keyed up perfectly. Do you, do you know? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you, but honestly, so let, let's talk a little bit about the the convert the self talk because that conversation, I call it, it it is called winning the wake up because you've won that conversation between the good wolf and the bad wolf. Let's say in your head because the the bad wolf goes, ah, oh, you know what, you need more sleep. You know what, it's okay to sleep in. You know what, f that J man, whatever he says about winning the wake up, he doesn't know everything. And, and, and you, I'm going to listen to Jeff because he does know everything. I'm sorry, what were you saying? Right, yeah, yeah that part is, is lying to you. Um, but <laughs> – and then there's the good one. It's like, okay, you should do this. So there's there's always the bad one that's trying to justify everything. And, and I call it winning because then with that first step is winning to get out of bed. Boom. Your next step is to yep. do whatever you plan to do because sometimes for me, it's easier for me to get out and, and, and do – I love to, to exercise that those endorphins really help me to to – equalize my my attention deficit my extra energy that i have but also the endorphins help everything for me in the morning and it, when it's hot out and i don't have to put on more clothes it's easier when it's daylight out when i wake up it's much easier but once you create that habit it's like i just some days i am like a zombie i'm like man i'm tired of shit but i'll grab my sneakers i'm, I'm all like to over to the car and i put the sneakers on and i go to where i'm gonna meet my buddies and I get it done. And when I'm done, there, is, there isn't one time I've ever gone, you know what? I really regret waking up early today. Yeah, and it's, it's, I think it's what you do. Like, what do you do once you wake up? And I know some people wake up and then it's like five hours so they can get out of the house. So one of the things I always tell people, if like I get up, but then I do this, keep track of the time that you wake up and then how much time it actually takes you to do whatever you're doing in the morning. If you don't have a routine in there, right? Like Jamie gets up and he goes to work out or goes for a run or climbs in one of those ninja training camp things. But still, I'm going to call it's, Jeff. It's no, please don't call me. I don't want to hear from you that early. I'm up. I just don't want to hear from you. That yeah. Early. You know, you're just not a morning but, person, I think. No, I'm a morning person, but keep track of what you're doing. There's different like kinds. how much time are you spending getting ready? How much time are you, are you sitting there, you know, watching TV you know, oh, I want to watch the news for 30 minutes. Well, guess what? You can listen to the news while you're doing other things, if that's, if that's part of your routine, routine. But I bet you a lot of people don't even realize how much time they're actually wasting in the morning. And not wasting, maybe it's time that they're wasting in the morning that they could, could be doing be something utilized. more productive, not even for their business, but for themselves. Maybe it's something where they can go, you know, take that dog for a walk first thing in the morning because, you know, they could be listening to, the uh, you know the news must on say their about phone nothing podcasts the, must say about nothing replays absolutely so i think that's part of winning the wake up is keeping track of <laughs> keeping track of what you're doing to realize how much time you're using for whatever you're doing and it, is that a successful use of your time because i know some some things to me are not just i'm not going to do them because it's not the best use of it's not the best use of my time or i'm not going to do them there yeah I, that's a good I'm point there. because I plan everything. Like if I know I have my clothes ready, so it's like get up, contacts, toothbrush, coffee in the thing, get dressed, coffee's done, grab myself and I'm out the door. So there, there's the least least amount of time time wasted so that I can sleep the maximum amount in order to get to where I want to be and the time I want to be there. If that makes like 
it's, mm-hmm. you know, you may be waking up, you gotta be, you're gonna meet a friend at the gym at 5.30. You're like, oh, I gotta get up at 4.30. Well, maybe you could do it at 4.45. If you really plan stuff a little bit better, you're, you're too busy looking for an outfit to wear, wear your sneakers, you know, all that yeah. stuff. It's wasted time. You gotta be more efficient. That, that's, that's a great point. So keep, how long does it take you to get ready to leave? 17 in minutes. In the morning. And then how long does it take oh, you to get ready you're when me. you're originally running behind and you have to rush? Because I know that's two totally separate things for me. Like I know I can be out of my house from the time I wake up till out the door, like literally a half hour if I need to. Like literally, yeah. wake up, showered, shaved, suit on, boom, out the door. But if you aren't in a rush, it is the correct amount of time that you actually I'm gonna have to stitch this all together. Yep, we're on the air now, I think. So if we're on the air and you can hear us, just type you can hear us just so we know because something's wrong with the stream right now. We are so thankful for the World Wide Web when it works. You <laughs> sons of the keys. Uh-huh. You know that comedian, that, that comedian, I don't even know who it was, <clears throat> talks about the guy next to him on the airplane that was moaning and groaning and cursing that you're on right now. Like, it's a miracle of flight and you're complaining right. you don't have <laughs> Wi-Fi. <laughs> Yeah, well, like, you know what? Let's be grateful that we're flying. We we uh, like to stay up in the air while flying, and we're losing viewership because the stream keeps stopping. You know, it'll be fun uh, if you're if you if there's big gaps in the stream. Try to fill in the gaps. Try to pretend what we said <laughs> in between, because there's really some great it's like content. It's like one of those kids' makeup stories, you know, like when they give you like the Mad Libs. I was just playing that with my kids the other day. (laughs) I need an adverb, adjective, a color. Yeah. You weren't playing that with your kid. You were just doing that yourself the past time. Okay. They had gone to the bathroom and I was playing it (laughs) while they were gone, to be honest. Uh, But you know what? Let's stream Mad Libs. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. So let's, uh, we're, we're past the wake up. The winning of the wake up, and we, we've heard how many days it, it's to create a habit, 21, 42, 73, whatever. Just do the damn thing. Um, I, mm-hmm. I think it's important. Accountability is important. And, and I think if you, if you put it out there, whether it's in your Instagram story, your Facebook story, just w- one friend, your parent, your daughter, you say, hey, I'm going to text you every morning when I wake up. And if I don't, text me and go, why aren't you up? If it's somebody who's up, right? You want to find somebody who has similar goals. Don't call your buddy who, you know, stays up till two or three in the morning. He's going to be. And sleeps till noon. <laughs> yeah, sleeps till noon. And be like, well, I didn't get my text. He'd be like, I was sleeping too. What do you mean? You're like, oh. Listen, it was your idea to wake up at five o'clock in the morning, <laughs> not mine. Please yeah. Me. Don't drag well, me into this. It, it, you know, some people go, well, it's so early. It's just time. Like just before, like we were talking about million dollar listings last week, I think it was, or two weeks ago. We're like, they're just people. Same thing. It's just time on a clock. Like my 4.30 East Coast time is one thirty Pacific. Like I'm not wake. Yep. You know, it's just relative. It's just time on a clock, folks. Make shit happen. Live stream Mad Libs. <clears throat> So what's once you wake up your morning routine, now what? That's it. Like to me, I to me that's go just back it. To sleep. Wake up, morning routine done. Go back to sleep. No, mm-hmm. to me, I think like some people say, oh, make your phone calls in the morning, do this in the morning. I think you need to figure out where you're most productive. You may be productive, most productive. I mean, outside of personal stuff, you may be most productive. <clears throat> you know, I'm productive between you know nine and twelve in the morning, or eight and whatever it happens to be. And to me, I always prefer to do the product when I'm to do the stuff I don't like doing when I'm most productive. Eat the frog. Because to me, yeah, it, you get through it quicker. You just you get through it quicker. It's like you know what? Let's just let's just let's just muscle through it. Because if you wait till you know, oh, I'll do it at five o'clock because you know, eh, and five o'clock's your least productive time, then you're never gonna get through it. It's gonna make a bigger chore. It's gonna make a bigger chore that you have to do it. Uh, it's life changing, now morning person, no coffee need, I, oh, I need coffee. No, I'm sorry. I don't need coffee, I choose coffee. Right, I mean, I think coffee chose me. 
<laughs> I, I, I'm Hispanic, right? I grew up Café con Leche, but I was probably six. It was mostly Leche, oh, not a lot of ca Café. Cotalito? Oh, man. Just go to Grandma's house. That's what you have, a little bread, some butter. I felt like a grown-up. Uh, but anyways. Yeah, I drink, I drink espresso all day long, by the way. I'll drink espresso and then go to sleep. Oh, well, yeah, me too. I mean, that's one of the symptoms. Like if you have ADHD, like it doesn't have a, a lot of them. Big, a big effect on you but when i was at your office <laughs> i didn't get permission necessarily but i was i i, I found the espresso <laughs> or the coffee machine yeah. i was like yo we have multiple espresso machines dude i was like did you see there's actually it? an iced coffee <laughs> machine there too i i trust me bro i tried them all when you were on that other zoom i went and i was like oh they got fresh milk here you had a cow in the one room i went and we're like we have coffee machines we do have this stuff in the office Jessica says, so go get coffee. Just wait till this is over. Coffee. No, she's saying she needs it. She doesn't need it now. Oh. We are the coffee, baby. Um, the routine. But let's just a little bit about the routine. All of that will help you to remain Hold productive. On. Can we just? Can you just put up Tiffany's comment here? The first one. Just, just put up to put up the that. Okay, we just no purple. context in that at all. Forget about her next thing that she said. We're just Tiffany is now known for saying dinosaur purple skipping. So if you know Tiffany in real life, the next time you see Tiffany is dinosaur purple skipping. Just oh, don't you see how to say she was playing Mad Libs? I just want. Oh well, I'm just I'm just modding, I'm moderating. Coffee, so, coffee, coffee. So it's what you do. Let me bring the ADD back. Um, so what you do after you get up is are you the most productive at that point is that when you're a little bit slower you know and, and i think you need to determine that for yourself is when you when are you the most productive yeah like when, to me it's like you said eat the frog well not even like most productive but what what's your peak energy time because for me it's like that morning time at like i drop the kids off that's like my i'm like on a cloud and that's what i do when i do my videos when i'll do my prospecting when it when i create my <laughs> Bing, 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 like this. But hey, you know, I'm happy that we chose the afternoon time for a, for a podcast because uh, Prima Donna Jeff. Prima Donna Jeff. <laughs> you Prima Donna Jeff. Yo, How that's going to be your new nickname. I have just, let me, let me, let me explain to you Go ahead. what Go goes ahead. on. Just, just, yo, an let's hear, hour let's hear. Before this. Yes. So, there's at 11 o'clock, uh, 11 o'clock, I'm sorry. At, it's an 1130 role play call that we do internally every single morning. There is a 12 o'clock, this is East Coast time. There's a 12 o'clock um, podcast that we record. And then Lily, 1230 is when me and J-Man jump on here. So Lily, it's an hour beforehand. I'm on either well, I mean, it, or recording the, a podcast. The scheduling is, is just one part of it. The other part was like the... Uh, do you think this camera makes my face look fat, or is it just COVID nineteen and, and ice all. cream that I've been eating, I, or, or what? um, <laughs> what this angle? Why did you flip it? Like this should be flipped. What I this did way. ask you to do was because I'm wearing. I, I, if you're wearing a T-shirt, I believe the people seeing it should say what the T-shirt is. Otherwise, it was backwards, and it could have been some foreign language. And I don't know what this would look like in a foreign language. It could be an obscene oh, word. Oh, see, but, you, but we could we could have. Oh, that's why the flip. I got you. That makes yes. sense. But we could have uh, said, okay, you have to watch this video in the mirror for a secret message. Or listen to it backwards. <laughs> listen to the audio backwards. You're going to hear a secret. <laughs> what is this one? Another one bites the dust? Another one. <laughs> that one you've There's been backward. Um, under the mandatory coffee, how do you maintain your sanity with the up and down? Oh, actually, pop up Amy's question. I actually like that question. This this is a great one because uh, I know what Amy's talking about, but I'd like you to address it, sir. Let's hear it. Okay. I, first of all, I don't think coffee is necessarily mandatory. Um, for me, it is. Watch How your do you mouth. The Watch your mouth. Like when a person says, if a person says no to you, they're not saying no to you. It's just not right time for them. You know, I, I don't take anything in this. I, I don't take anything in this business personally at all, and I think that's why I've been in business for as long as I have. And I understand when the insanity hits that I have people in my life that I can go to that are going to bring me out of that insanity. And I think that's probably the best advice I can give you. Don't take it personally and have someone that's going to, you know. I know, I keep hitting it. Um, <laughs> so but let, let me, because this was 
besides the fact, I wonder if you did you did you put your your camera for like 4K? You would do something like that. It is. Is that the settings? I don't think I I have mine set up to HDR to at 1080p. Um, it, I probably should show up the HDR. Yeah, it's fine. But you will. But uh, you know, we get so emotionally involved because number one, as realtors, as agents, we want to win. We're competitive. As business people, you want to win. That's one part of it. And not winning, that's understandable. And when people say you can't win them all, are used to second place. I just want to say that. You can win them all if you know how to play the game. But try to win them all. I, I think sometimes when you go in and you go, you know what? You can't win them all, Jeffrey. You're planning to lose. But I think creating realistic expectations, because there is an emotional side of this business where you're working with clients. These are their home and their dreams. And, and it is tough to not get emotionally involved, but you have to control their emotions and be like, look at, I understand you love this home, but you know, whatever will be, will be there. Bust out all the cliches that you, that you can, there, there will always be another home. I promise you there will always be another home. Can, can I just want to back up to something J man said about winning them all. People say you can't win them all. To me, it's what is the win on this? You're not going to get every single listing. I mean, it, it's it is beyond possible to get every single listing unless you the one listing you go for is your mom and she lists with you and you never go for another listing ever again. That's not so guaranteed. To me, that is true. That's not even guaranteed. She might list with my wife. She instead. knows you better than anyone else. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> so to me, is what's what's the win? That you know how I keep my sanity in this is. Am I learning from something from this experience? Because that's a win to me. If I learned, oh, I said that that way. Oh, I normally don't say it that way. And the person said no to me. That's a win if I recognize that I can learn something from it. So to, to me, and this is one of the core beliefs in neurolinguistic yeah. programming is there's no such thing as failure. There's only feedback. So I truly believe it's impossible to fail at anything unless you don't learn something from it. So I think that's, no, that's also how point. I keep part of my sanity is I, I try to like break down, okay, what went wrong here? What, not what went wrong, what can I have done? What can I do better next time? Is there something I can change, something I can adapt? Is there something that could have happened differently? And to me, that's how you win every single time. However, agree with that 100%, 1,000, 10,000%. I hear agents sometimes going, I'm going on a listing appointment rather than saying I'm going to go get a listing. Yeah. I 100% agree with you. This is the also thing about saying the win is I won that. This is the whole thing. I can't stand with it. two things. Agents say the seller gave me the listing. They didn't give you the listing. You earned that listing or you right. took that listing. They didn't give you the listing. It's a different mindset. Also, oh, I won the listing. Well, if you won the listing from the seller, who lost the seller? Like, that's how I look at it. To me, when you're talking about win, it's almost conquering. So it's, to me, it's my choice if I'm going to take this list or not. Not if the seller is going to give it to me. Right. If they don't give it to me, I earn that or I took it. So I, I think a lot of it has to do with the mindset of when you just do those little shifts, you realize – it doesn't drive me insane because you always think, well, why did I win that? Why did I win that? Opposed to, hey, what can I learn from this to do better next time? Because that changes that mindset and then puts you someplace else very quickly. The other thing I can't Yippee! say on agents is that, they're going, <laughs> that they're going to do, you know, a listening presentation. Can you stop calling it a presentation? Because you know what a presentation is? J Man talks for 15 minutes, at the end says, how many questions? That's a presentation, right, J-Man? We do those for a living. Like I did for a living for a long time. You do a 20-minute presentation, a 45-minute presentation. I don't present anymore. Me. I only inspire. Oh, very good. Very good. However, <laughs> look, just threw that out there. Yours is backwards, by the way. Um, so, yeah, no, it's not. Is it? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> oh, shit. Who's the diva now? <laughs> Who's the diva now, J-Man? So this is the other one is like, can we stop calling the presentation? Cause the presentation means I'm presenting to you and that's it. Can like, to me it's, oh, thank you. Inspire, retire. 
it's always <laughs> please don't dance like that ever again to me you got distracted that was funny <clears throat> to me it's a, it's a listening how i approach it is a listening consultation you know because consulting means we're having a conversation you can even call it a listening conversation please stop calling it a presentation a lot of people especially in new york city they say i'm going to go do a pitch to me it's like a i don't pitch. like that term oh my gosh pitch if there's a pitch who was it? Tom Hopkins used to say that if there's a pitch, there's a catch. Mm -hmm. Right? Nobody wants to be pitched on anything. Um, let's see. We got another one here, though. Let's see. Are there any other network? Are there any networking groups over others that you favor or recommend? No, not me. And as a new realtor, what tools or strategies? Can what you tools or strategies? Okay. You start with that I'll one. And I'll, I'll go to networking groups after after yep. you do that. So, what tools or strategies? Depending upon how new you are, this is what I would suggest you do first to be more productive. For the next two weeks, you keep track of everything that you do and how long it takes you to do those things. Like, I spend forty five minutes driving to the office. I spend twenty five minutes like chatting with my broker. I spend uh, an hour, you know, organizing my desk, marketing an hour or like keep track of that. And look at actually, and this is everything you do. You know, two hours dinner with the family. Like keep track of all of that. And then look at the end of those two weeks and see how much time are you actually spending in your business or on your business and how much time you're not. Because what I've noticed for a lot of new people, they think they're spending more time in their business than they oh, actually yeah. are. And yeah. if you keep track of that, you, you now that. can start scheduling what you actually need to do. So that'd be my, my tip. If, if you really, and, and this is going to be, a task in itself for you to keep track of this. It's going to be a pain in your ass, but it's going to be such an eye opening experience because at the end of it, you look at your schedule and say, okay, would I pay somebody a hundred dollars an hour to have this mm -hmm. schedule? If the answer is hell no, I would fire that person in a heartbeat. Then you need to start working on your schedule and start focusing on like income producing activities and, and stuff that you're you're the CEO of an organization, your own, yeah. right? And and you really just need to start treating your business like a business. Stop wasting time on stuff that you could pay somebody else to do for less money. And the other part of the question was, are there any networking groups over others that you favor or recommend? Listen, in real estate, I mean, one of the ones that I always recommend is, it, is YPN. Yep. But otherwise, I really don't. I think Each area um, is different to me. Yeah, I think YPN is good if you're because YPN's motto is young in the business, young in age, or young at heart. So I'm now at the young at heart stage because I'm younger. I'm like that yeah. old ass kitchen that was installed new. <laughs> and you call it newer. I'm younger. <laughs> I'm younger. You know what I'm saying? But I'm young at heart. Uh, but it because it I found that environment there like nobody's trying to kill each other for deals. It's like just a spirit of collaboration. People want to help each other, see mm -hmm. each other grow. Uh, but, but the other yeah. one that I feel can definitely help you build confidence in, in your presenting and working and networking and having conversations is Toastmasters. Uh, it, it's a not-for-profit. It's free throughout the entire United States. You find one, join it. I got kicked, I got kicked out of Toastmasters. Well, that makes sense because you probably were trying to tell them what to do and say and how to do it. And they were like, sir, no. let's hear the no, story. They, they actually, I say, th I say for those of you who know me. What had happened was. I say things which are linguistically made to do something. They may not be correct grammar, but there's a reason behind. There's a reason behind the pauses that I use. There's a reason behind it. And there's, there's it's a linguistics reason. Not a grammatically correct reason. So they told me, oh, you can't say it like that. It's not grammatically correct. I said, yeah, but the reason why I'm saying that is to install this or to implant the suggestion or, or to receive whatever happens to me. They're like, yeah, this probably isn't for you unless you're looking to change your ways. I'm like, okay, fine. Yeah, I'll, so I'll um, my, my recommendation to you guys is to do as I say and do, not as Jeff does. Because um, <laughs> I... I I did join Toastmasters. I did follow the rules, but it, if I think in the beginning, it's it's harder for you to build confidence until you do have confidence in what you're doing and the speaking side of it. They'll help you to help you with your impromptu speaking. Like if somebody brings up a topic somewhere, I can speak on it 
nor, you know, normally I could, but it does help you uh, to work on your filler words and, and your, your speech giving and all of that. Um, so that when you're talking you to know, people, um, 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 uh, okay. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, right. Uh, yeah. Sure. Which will help Amen. you make better videos, which will help you make better content. All of Less that. Less editing. Less editing. Cool. So we started with morning wake up, morning routine, and we much to say about nothing. We literally much to say about, about nothing. <laughs> we have a lot to say about everything. Is really what it what it should be, but I think that name is already taken. Yeah, it just means that I had to come up with a name on short notice, and and Jeffrey does not like to provide insight sometimes. It's just like, oh, let me know what time. Send me a link. I'm like, this is what it's going to be called. Oh, yeah, sure. I don't think he even read it. <laughs> he was like auto-checked it. <laughs> so, Dud, welcome to the Double J Show. Double J Podcast. J Squared. Is there anything we want? Is there anything? I don't know how much time we're running this today. I don't even know if we're on the air. Uh, we got like five more minutes. I hope you we go 45. All right. Cool. So, anybody have any other questions or a topic? Question, topic? Um, looking at here, the collaboration, yes. Um, look at coffee. I'm still back on that whole morning coffee thing. Great stuff. Thank you, Amy. Appreciate it. Collaboration, yay. I see my sound effects don't work, but I would have done the yay sound effect. Yay, YPN. No, I shouldn't have said awesome! it. Awesome! Where is it awesome? Well, let, let's go back to winning the wake. I mean, here's why it motivates me. And here's why it should motivate you. Because the first competition is with yourself. Really, the only competition is with yourself, in my opinion. Yep. Per period. But when the, sh when the shit is like super hard, <laughs> when it's super hard and difficult, like a live stream can be, this with just poor mess. bandwidth, uh, you know, that motivates me more because to me that means the competition's less likely to do it, right? The fact that I know they're not getting up early and I know that they're not getting up early and when they wake up, it's freaking pouring rain outside and I know they're not going to go run out in the rain. Well, I am. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and when you when you challenge yourself like that, then the everyday challenges, like, like Amy said earlier, the ups and downs of real estate, I'm equipped to deal with that because I train my mind every day. It, it, while you, you this, think it's physical training, it's it's your mental training that's that you're you're working through every day. This is how I also look at it, and it's all said to you. Everybody's trying to steal your money. Everybody's trying to steal your clients before you get them. Everybody's trying to steal your current clients while you have them, and everybody's trying to steal your past clients to get them to you. And I hate doing that cliche, you know, the early bird catches the worm, but there's someone right now getting up and starting their day 10 minutes before you, mm -hmm. that literally has you in their targets. Like Absolutely. literally has your client that they're calling right now 10 minutes before you did. Your past clients 10 minutes before, 10 minutes before you got up. So understand that it's not only other agents, but there's huge conglomerate aggregator type of things that are going after your clients and customers right now including the, the realtor, the broker, the agent down the block. So that's how I look at it is If you want to start your day at noon, you want to start your day at 10 o'clock, that's great. But understand there's someone starting hours before you mm -hmm. that are calling your clients, calling your customers, mailing them stuff out that, oh, well, you know, so if they, what happens if they call them? Well, if they call them enough time to build enough rapport and enough relationship with them, they're not going to be your clients anymore. They're going to be theirs. Yeah. Next time you want to sleep in, think about there's somebody younger, smarter, faster, stronger, more techie coming for your lunch, and they're going to take it and eat it. <laughs> this so, one is just a mess today. It keeps on dropping. It is what it is. So, Jamin, I think we should just, like. That's it. That, that, that's it. We're done. Peace and love, everybody. Thanks for tuning really in. weird. This is Jeremiah and that is for What? And I am Jeffrey Scott Stanton. I guess who are you? And you split. All right, now we have to do that again. And you are? Pretty awesome. And I'm pretty awesome too. Everybody, have <laughs> a great so are you day. guys. Thanks have for a... tuning in. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Sorry for the train wreck. <laughs> we promised a train wreck and a shit show. You got it. Have a great day.